I started riding about nine years ago and armor, apparel, it was pretty atrocious back then. Everything was super baggy. The colors never really seemed quite right. Nothing ever fit correctly. It's really amazing to see how far we've come and how much we've really stepped up our game with the apparel and protection in particular. I mean, it's not uncommon for any rider to have access to really nice gear. It fits properly and it looks nice. So I'm gonna show you guys just a couple of the sweet kits that we have, a couple pairs of pads and some helmets as well. Here we have the G-Form Pro Rugged Knee Guard. Most people are familiar with G-Form, but these look a little bit different. They've got the matte cloth finish. It's still over that Smart Flex technology, so really easy to move. Gonna be wearing these probably climbing and descending, so you're gonna want something comfortable. But then when you hit it, it does harden on impact. So awesome little feature, but it just looks a lot nicer than it has in the past, in my humble opinion. And then they've got the little added Velcro strap. I think I would really like a feature like that. It just keeps things really nice and secure. We've got the ever popular leopard print. And we don't know what came first. Did the Jersey come first or did the Lion, the Lion King come first? Tiger King, but it's not a tiger, it's a leopard. So we've got these Gore-Tex pack light shorts. It's only one pocket and you get the drawstring waist. Really easy, crazy light. These things pack up, I mean, the size of my hand and they only weigh four ounces. Here I've got the Fox Women's Ranger gloves. They come in four different colors, three sizes and they retail for $25.95 US. Nice clean palm, you've got the touch screen sensitive finger there. It comes in this really cool purple color, which I mean, I like purple. It's nice to see something different on the market. We've got some bags from Race Face. This is the stash. Something I've never seen before is an elastic waistband. This one, you do not get hip pockets, but you do have two pretty sizable pockets. You can fit a lot of snacks. You've got this little external mesh pocket and then a spot for a water bottle. So that's pretty handy. Bottle on the bike, bottle in the bag, you're solid. And right behind that, you've got a nice padded little phone pocket. It's waterproof. We're rolling here with the Race Face Stash Duffel Bag. It's a pretty cool looking little duffel bag. It's got a little waterproof compartment in here with little drainage holes. So if you do have some soggy gear, stash it in there, you can rinse it out later. A little cool feature they put in here is the little changing mat. So the idea behind this little changing mat is when you're out at the trailheads, um, you know, getting dressed, putting your shoes on, putting your pads on, you can throw this little baby up, keep your tootsies all nice and clean before you go ride. We've also got this little fleece lined pocket. So a nice little spot for your goggles, your extra lenses. So a relatively new helmet from Fox, it's the Speed Frame Pro here. The helmet has the MIPS technology in there. It's also got the 360 degree fit system. So ideally with the little BOA dial there, it's gonna fit nice and snug up onto your head. So the Pro version of this helmet has the Verizorb dual density EPA foam liner in there. If you look really close, you can see two different colors working together, keeping your head super safe if and when you do smash it into the ground. Here we have the new Troy Lee Design Stage Knee Pad. While there's no silicone at the bottom of the pad, you do get a good bit of it at the top. And it looks to be a bit of a longer cut. The Stage Knee Pad is designed for that kind of mid-level protection. So you get the D3O pliable material, should feel pretty comfortable when you're pedaling, but then if you do get into a crash, it hardens up. You don't get the side protection that you might see in like a downhill knee pad, but that's not really what they were going for here. Here from Gore, we have the C5 hooded trail jacket. The jacket is made with Gore-Tex Active and Gore-Tex Pack Light material. It is abrasion resistant. It is fully waterproof. The ladies one in a smaller size is only 7.7 .7 ounces. So this thing's pretty tiny. It is meant to be worn over your mountain bike gear, but at the same time, it is formed to the body. This here is the Lilium short from the Troy Lee Designs collection. This is a super lightweight material here. It's also got the four-way stretch that Troy Lee does. This short was designed for those long days on the bike, big long pedal fest, 
Um, looks to be like a really quick drying material as well. And on this short, they offer three zippers. So you've got the two front zippers and then you've got what's meant to be a little phone zipper on the back. That way, hopefully when you're riding around, it's not bouncing around in your pockets. So the Rome knee pads were designed with the Enduro athlete in mind. The knee pad has the D3O impact material there. So again, it's really flexible and comfortable underneath, but then it's gonna harden on impact. And then the TPU skid plate under there. So kind of all the benefits. You get the comfort of the soft, you get the hard skid plate there. So if you do hit a rock or something, ideally you're just gonna slide across. Worth noting, it is designed with that pre-curve in mind. So it's designed for when you're riding the bike, not when you're standing up. That's not really a shape that you would see on the bike very often. So it looks to be quite comfortable when you're actually in motion. Well, there you have it guys. Some of the freshest kits, protection and bags on the market right now. Now that you've seen what I was wearing back in the day, I'd like to know what you were rocking. Let me know in the comments below.